so we have the new update available for evolution xos version 7.2 based on android 13 with october security patch of course and yes i tried it i used it for around one day for on my device and let's gonna talk about some of the new things which have been added in this version let's get started as quickly as possible first of all let me share with you the version it's version 7.2 official version available for many devices and if it is not officially available I'm not sure maybe it's unofficially available for your device uh, right now evolution x OS is actually one of those curse move which is quite famous and might be available for a lot of devices so yes you might get this update very soon if you didn't got it yet let's quickly move on to the things first of all the first change which we found here is the pixel launcher yes it's pixel launcher it was available previously too but if i'm not wrong developer options were not there in this new version we have developer options and these developer options of course meant for developers only which means if you're not an advanced user i will recommend you to stay away from it but if you are an advanced user you know what you are doing you can simply explore there are many things which you can explore it's up to you including all those changes we also have some wallpaper related changes if you are able to notice the default wallpaper which i have applied the full dark black wallpaper and the first one is that we also have light wallpapers available new wallpapers available in this wallpaper app some previous wallpapers are already there as you can see darker basically blue etc etc but the new wallpapers are there dark black and maybe white all these wallpapers are available here for you if you want to apply one of these you can very easily you can use these wallpapers on advice to apply any other way too if i move on to the miscellaneous options one thing for me which i didn't like to be honest is about this you can see the app locker is there of course it's quite good if you use app lock you need this thing but if i open the protected apps option for all these apps which where you can enable the app lock we have the option to hide from launcher yes this is quite good but for a normal user if you're using custom for the first time or if you don't know you were looking for app you were looking for app hide i mean hidden apps option but unfortunately it's there in app lock yes it's good but if you open this if i disable this protection option i am not able to hide the app from launcher so this is quite disappointing that you need to lock the app to hide the app which is of course yeah they are linked to each other but for me this is not good for me it's not good of course it's about users own preference but for me unfortunately it's not good it should be there also if you're able to notice i have enabled that option and the app is not hidden right now i'm not saying it's bug of course it's written there that you need to restart your launcher but yes of course some things are quite good some things are user friendly some things are not so it's not a big deal it's about users preference but still if i if you talk about my opinion i think so it's a bit complicated let's hope they solve it in the next update moving on to one good thing about this one is vibration and haptics a lot of ghost moms have this feature of course but where you can enable or disable the feedback and these vibration but here you can increase or decrease the intensity of vibration so this is a really good thing these are some of the features which are quite good in evolution x os but the previous one app locker and hidden apps feature was not good it was just my opinion quick tap option is also present like if you're using a pixel device you have this option by default and yes uh, in pixel os and most of the times where pixel props are there you get this option and yes it's working perfectly fine one of the best thing is if you even have applied the back cover like i do you can also use this option but only if you use this if you don't use this then these things doesn't matter for you quick tap also has a play pause media take screenshot extra options so whichever you want to apply you can use it unless and only until screenshot moving on to some of the other things it also includes game space so if you're a gamer and the normal game dashboard in pixel you don't like that then you can use this option too which includes some of the extra features for you which are quite good obviously if i move on settings option you can see the evolver has all those customizations like theming options where you have uh, the black theme which i have applied named as vivid colors 
some fonts customizations which are working partially i also found that it was not perfectly fine like android 12.1 maybe it's just because of android 13 but yes this is what i found quick settings also have some of the customizations power menu gestures etc you already know these are the things which we have almost all the useful features which you were looking for are already present and these were the things i just want to let you know i hope you like this thing i hope you like my opinion about this one if you like this video don't forget to like and share this as i will see in the next video until then goodbye